Hello, this is Mr. Chabry. Here we are for the first battle of the NGDL Season 4. This is our team, and this is our opponent's team. Um, real quick, I'm kind of nervous about Flygon. Um, I feel like if I'm not careful around Flygon, it could actually do some work against me. Um, but real quick, let's go ahead and write down my opponent's Pokemon. Alright, so we see the Mega Venusaur. We see the Blast... The Phelon, uh, Tapu Fini, uh, Mesprit, Flygon, and Lantern. So, who do I want to lead with? <clears throat> um, so, he's got two possible Defoggers, being Flygon and Tapu Fini. I don't think Mesprit learns Defog. Um... I think I might might lead with Rimbombi. Yeah, we'll lead Rimbombi. All right, good luck, Zack Attacka. Um, real quick, um, we're facing the Chargers, um, the San Diego Chargers. Um, I feel like I should have put more time into my thought process, but. Um, Steelix is mainly there for the Flygon. Um, doing some calcs. I think Flygon's pretty important for my opponent, so we need to watch out for that. We see, uh, the Mega Venusaur. So what can Mega Venusaur do? Um, of course a Sludge Bomb will bring us down to Sash. Um, our Moonblast will barely do anything to this thing. Um, I don't have really a perfect switch into this thing. Probably has HP fire for my Steelix. Um, I feel like Marowak is my best switch in against this thing, honestly. We'll go ahead and switch into Marowak. Alright, what, what are we seeing now? Uh, it's going to be, of course, the Mega Venusaur. Um, probably a Sludge Bomb. Probably a Sludge Bomb. Yeah, there's the Sludge Bomb. Of course, we will take that. We will take that pretty well. We get Poison, unfortunately. That, that kind of, That's kind of annoying. We do have Hill Bell on our Florges. Um, I can easily Flare Blitz and do a lot of damage. To, if not this thing, something on the Switch end. Um, let me see Tapu Fini. Say Tapu Fini switches in. Um, we're still doing a lot of... Hold on. Hold up the wrong thing. Still doing considerable damage. Um, I like the idea of Flare Blitz. I like that idea. I like that idea. Alright, so we're going to see the switch. Tapu Fini, of course, comes in. We'll get some good damage on this thing. And honestly, that gives me a pretty good switch in to the Florgis. So I would like to go Florgis after this turn here. Good damage right there. Of course, it's it's going to resist it, and it is pretty bulky, but... But Flare Blitz does so much... All right, let's see here. Um, I'm going to switch into Floor just on this. I've got... Well, I don't have Hill Bell. I do have Wish, though, so that's right. Don't have Hill Bell. All right, let's go ahead and go into Floor just. I'm going to see a Scald. I'm going to not do much, and we're going to have some... You know, we don't have to worry about Burn. We got the Misty Terrain up, so Moonblast will do a considerable amount of damage. However, my opponent can easily go into, um, can easily go into, um, the Venusaur. So, I feel like I'd rather wish here, and that way I can bring in <clears throat> the Marowak to heal it up a little bit. 
All right, we see this thing come back out. We're just going to wish, get some health. All right, let's go ahead and switch into Marowak. I think getting health onto Marowak is pretty important. There's that Sludge Bomb again. Um, that's okay. We'll take that. Let's heal up. Mm -mm -mm. Good old health. Now, the question is, what is my opponent going to do? I don't think my opponent lets me have this Venusaur. So I think I want to go for a Shadow Bone. I think I want to do that. That's what we'll do. We'll go for a Shadow Bone. Um, catch something on the switch in. And even if my opponent stays in, we do some good damage to this thing with Shadow Bone. Player Bliss wouldn't have even taken it out. Alright, Venusaur gets withdrawn. Um, in will come Lantern. Honestly, I don't know how well Lantern takes this. Ooh, we almost take that out, actually. The mist has disappeared. Um, real quick, we can go into Florges. Yeah, we'll go into the Florges. I would have much rather have taken this Lantern out, though. But we'll take what we can get. Do some good damage to it. Marowak, come back, please. Um, we're going to send out Flourgis. This is my bulky special wall. Be a Scald. And what do I do here? I could go Moonblast. But Venusaur is such an easy switch in. Venusaur is such an easy switch in that I don't think I want to. Go ahead and wish. That way, if Venusaur comes out, I can easily go back into my um, Marowak. Alright, my opponent's going to switch with a Volt Switch. We're going to see what my opponent brings in. See what my opponent brings in. Now, let's see here. Honestly, um, I don't know what my opponent brings in. Flygon is the thing that kind of worries me, though. Um, Flygon could become a huge problem if we're not careful, if we let it set up some dragon dances. Um, the whole point of our Steelix is to handle Flygon. That's the whole purpose um, for Steelix here on this team. Because we can take a hit. Alright, here comes that Flygon. Alright, so... How well does Steelix take a hit? Um, Steelix should take a hit pretty well. We'll go Steelix here. Go into Steelix. Um... You know, I don't want this thing to get a free Dragon Dance. And we can Ice Fang it to get some good chip damage, and then later on, hit it with a Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch from Mega Absol will knock it out. Flygon is honestly the thing that kind of worries me on my opponent's team, though, because um, it's a physical attacker that's actually good against my physical wall. However, Steelix still has enough bulk to take an, an Earthquake pretty well. Go ahead and get our Steelix in here. You see the Earthquake. We should take this pretty well. Yeah, look at that. Pretty good, pretty good, Steelix. That's that's what I love about Steelix. It's just so, so bulky. So... I want to Ice Fang, because Ice Fang is on this... 
I have Ice Fang on the Steelix just for the Flygon. We're going to go ahead and go for it. It is kind of risky because my opponent could easily swap into something to take a hit. Probably, I don't know what my opponent switches in. Blast of Phalon doesn't really want to take hits. But if I had to guess, it's probably my, the best thing for my opponent to switch in. But yeah, we're going to Ice Fang so we can hit this Flygon as hard as we can. Um, if my opponent pops a Z-move, we'll, we'll still be able to live it. Here comes the Dragon Dance. That's what I was worried about, and I do not want this thing to get a free boost. So we're going to go ahead, go for our Ice Fang. Boom! Yes, all right. It's not enough. Of course, it's not going to be enough. Okay, so that, that's kind of... Oh, I'm sorry about that. Ooh, that's unfortunate. That is actually unfortunate. Honestly, that is unfortunate. I mean, I had it planned where if we take an earthquake, we could still take this thing out. But I mean, it's frozen, and that kind of that kind of that kind of hurts my opponent quite a bit there because Steelix can easily take this thing out and keep its health. But yeah. All right, we'll just take out the Flygon. I mean, unfortunately, I'm kind of, I'm sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. But anyway, we'll take out the Flygon. Which means I, I've got less to worry about. If we can get rid of the Tapu Fini. If we can get rid of Tapu Fini, then my opponent has no way to defog. We get webs up and the webs are up the entirety of the game. So that's that's our plan. Get rid of Tapu Fini. However, what's my opponent going to go into? Probably Blast of Phalon. Try to scare me out. However, the thing is, um, the only reason Steelix is here was for that Flygon. That's honestly the only reason I brought this thing. Skull's going to do good damage to us. I mean, I could keep Steelix, you know? It still will give me something against um, Blast of Phalon later on. I think I'll go ahead and switch into Florges. I can get a Wish again. That's what I want to do. I think that's how I'm going to play it. We're going to keep Steelix a little bit longer. I think it still has some sort of use that we could get out of it. And honestly, Lantern doesn't have much time left anyway, so... Go ahead and get a Wish, I think. Let me look at this real quick. I want Marowak at good health. That's what we're going to play for. Get Marowak at good health. Um... We haven't even brought Palkia in. Palkia, what we need to do is damage the opponent down enough that Palkia can just come in and take care of the entire, like the entirety of my opponent's team. I think that's something I could easily do. Going to hard switch Lantern out. Here comes the Blast of Phalon. All right, so Blast of Phalon. We could take a hit from this thing. This thing could have Trick. This thing could have Trick. Um. Honestly. I want to keep Flor Florges around a little bit longer. I'd like to bring in Robombi. Let me look at this real quick. So we bring in Robombi and go ahead and get the web up. Yeah, we'll do that. That way, if my opponent does go for a trick, we're not going to have our wall stuck with a choice scar. 
substitute. Jeez. Okay, um, we're gonna have to break the substitute. Moonblast. Will that even break a sub? How, how much does it need to break a sub? I'll go ahead and just click Tailwind. No way my mons can outspeed this thing. The calm mindset, geez. Um, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get Steelix in here. Because we need Steelix in here now. Flamethrower, okay. Now will bring Steelix down to Sturdy. Oh, Life Orb, okay. Go ahead and just click Earthquake so we can break this thing. We lose Steelix. Oh my gosh. All right, um, what I can do which I think is the only way I can get rid of this Blast of Phalon here. I think I've got to go Absol and repeatedly go for Substitute until this thing goes down to its own Life Orb. I think that's what I need to do. Let's go ahead, Mega Evolve, go for a Sub. Because we know this thing, uh, we know we're faster, at least. We are faster than this thing. And I want this thing to lose that... Sub I can't hit it from the substitute, but what I can do is stall out this thing with that life orb. Because it's going to be doing some damage to itself. Not going to be enough, though. Not going to be enough. I need to get rid of this thing's sub. Hmm. Okay, so... We do this. Hmm. We could break. Hmm. I think I do. I think I need to break that sub more than anything. And then Rabombi can come in. Get the tell win. Let's go for one more substitute. Um say Palkia comes out here. Okay, we have a tell win on our side. We'll be able to outspeed. So I think. We have to sack off Absol. I think we do. 
And we have to sack off Absol, so... Sorry, I gotta do it. Um, go ahead. Get rid of that sub. And bring Palky in. We lose Absol, which kind of bites. But we, we go into Palkia here. No, we go into Rabombi. Get the Tailwind going. Flamethrower that will bring us down to Sash. Alright, um, what could possibly outspeed? Go ahead, just Moonblast. That'll take this thing out. Go ahead, Sticky Web. Alright, well, I'll just sack off her bomb because this thing goes down to life orb anyway. And... Uh, yeah, let's see here. Yep. What do I go into? You go Marowak. Okay, say I go Marowak. Do we outspeed Tapu Fini? I don't want it to get a defog. Right, let's go Marowak. I need some damage on Tapu Fini anyway for the Marowak or uh, for Palkia. Yeah, so we should outspeed this thing. We should outspeed. Um, go for a Shadow Bone. Ooh, we did not take it out, but we get a defense drop on this thing, which I am fine with. That chip damage is what I really needed. Unfortunately, things are looking kind of... Um, kind of tough. But... Let's go into Palkia now. We're I think we should be able to do this. Let's see here. Mesprit, say Mesprit comes in. Can we take it out with one hit? Alright. I'll go ahead, Thunderbolt. That one has petered out. In comes the Lantern. We just go Spatial Wren, right? Go Spatial Wren. Alright. They got Lantern. Out will come Venusaur. Draco, because I'll go ahead and special run a few times. 
unfortunately, the Misty Terrain is going to reduce that, but... I need to stall out. My other options don't do much to the thing. I need to stall out the terrain. What more turns of terrain do we have? How many more turns of terrain? So little. This, this. Yeah, help me help me stall out your own terrain, dude. Oh, I want this. I want this. How many more turns of terrain? This is the last turn of terrain. I'm not using Draco because I don't want to lose any of my special attack. Oh, sorry about that. All right, terrain is gone. I'm going to continue the spatial rin though because that's my best option. There's the Toxic. I, I feel like I have to Draco this turn, so that way Palkia doesn't take too much, you know, damage. A pop, Draco. Come on, Draco. Draco! Boom! There we go, we'll take that. And then I can switch into, let's see, Mesprit. What can Mesprit even do? I go into Floor, just say I do that. I can maybe stall it out for a few turns. Alright, Psychic, we should take that pretty well. And I think I'll just Moonblast for a few turns. Alright, Thunder Wave. I need to bring some chip damage on this thing. Palkia can come in. We get a crit, which is nice. Yeah, we need we need to get some chip on this thing. How healthy is our Palkia? Um, let's go ahead and Moonblast. We're going to get who? The Psychic. I think we just Moonblast until Florges is down. What do you think? I think that's that's how we win this one. We just continue with what we're doing. <clears throat> Got some special attack drops, which are good. For one more psychic or one more moon blast, and then we'll bring in Palkia for the final blue. I think Florges can actually just finish this off anyway, so I'm just staying in with Florges. I don't, I don't see with this thing being able to really do anything, and I don't, I don't mind Florges going down. Alright, and we get the knockout on this thing. Good game, Zack Attack. Um, good game. 
Yeah, some of the Pokemon that I didn't think were going to be that much of a problem became being a huge problem. Um, mainly Mega Venusaur. I thought my Marowak was going to deal with that pretty easily, but yeah, it became a little bit of a problem once our Marowak went down. And another thing was that Blasiphalon, that thing was very scary. I thought easily Absol could come in and take care of it, but we had to sack Absol off so we can break through it. Um, so good game, Zack Attack. We got our first victory. Um, of course, we it, it, there, there was a huge fight there, um, but we were able to come in at the end. So if you like this, the first battle for the Kentucky Typhlosions in the NGDL, Leave a thumbs up, and I will see you next time with week two. I'll see you then.